would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% with all of the epic WWE Mattel action figures, playsets, and very much more. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE Elite Series 72-in-1 figure review on the brand new Elite EC3, Ethan Carter III, and Johnny Football, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano here in the flesh. Both of these figures look fantastic again, and I'm just now noticing that we have three interchangeable, uh, or three sets of interchangeable hands of Johnny Gargano. How did I not realize that till now? And with EC3, what? I'm just, I'm just a stupid jackass. But anyways, on yesterday in my community tab, guys, I was asking you guys if you wanted to see the rest of the Elite 70 reviews, or if you wanted me to do surgery before uh, I finished the reviews. And what I meant by surgery was action figure surgery, guys. I didn't mean I'm undergoing surgery. I'm blessed. I'm healthy. I'm active. I'm ready to go. I don't, I, I'm not having surgery. You know, I, my health is not a concern. You know, it's not nothing like that. So I wasn't meaning myself go under the knife get surgery done. I was talking about should I do WWE action figure surgery and then finish the Elite 70 reviews or do you guys want me to post all of the reviews and then do WWE action figure surgery, you freaking goofballs. But I do really appreciate it that you you, you people out there would uh, actually care about my health and tell me to take care of surgery on myself rather than uh, finish the video. So I really appreciate that. However, uh, that, that's not the case. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into these reviews. I guess we're going to do the reviews first and then get into action figure surgery. So uh, let's take a closer look at EC3 and Johnny Gargano. So spinning it around, guys, you guys know EC3 here, Johnny Gargano here. On the back, you have a magnificent picture of Ethan Carter. I mean, look at the man. He's gigantic. You have Johnny Gargano here. Um, if you've got a little bio read, if you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. We also have a magnificent picture of Ryan from Wide Figs and Johnny Gargano here. And then on the front, you have the front viewing window that we've already seen. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here's Ethan Carter and Johnny Gargano out of their packaging, guys, looking really magnificent. To be honest with you, of course, there are a couple of gripes that I have, mainly on Johnny Gargano, but we will break it down. But at first glance, I mean, both of these are spectacular. I mean, two of the best figures in Elite Series 70 by far, and they look really, really good. I mean, just first off, the sculpting and the likeness and everything about these guys is just better, man. Mattel getting better and better every single year. Every single series, they're pumping them out. They're getting better and better, and they're looking great. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at EC EC3's accessories and then EC3 and then we'll take a closer look at Johnny Gargano's accessories and Johnny Football. So with that being said guys, let's start off with figure number one. So getting into EC3's accessories guys, he does come with this rubber shirt mold that we have seen probably 652 times since we've, you know, got him from Mattel. It's the sleeveless cutoff. It's like the muscle tee. They usually give it to us with the bigger guys. Even though we've gotten it with the smaller guys, it's you know, more common with the bigger guys. And so it's just this flap over shirt. It's rubber. It says NXT on the back. It says is NXT because on the front it says E EC3 with the little three dashes behind there. So it's EC3 is NXT. So this is supposed to be his uh, obvious uh, NXT look, I guess. It's the yellow and black attire, which looks really good. Also with him, you do get an NXT microphone, which is nice. You know, we've seen something like this before. We got it with the Enzo and Cass Battle Pack. We've seen it with some other guys. And he does come with three pairs of interchangeable hands. You have the fists, which uh, I think is cool. I think that everybody should come with fists. I think that would be cool. Even though I don't really use the fists, I'd rather just use the mic holding hands because you could use these as fists if you wanted. I'm dropping them everywhere, but that brings me to the second set of hands, which is the mic holding hands. And then on the figure out of the packaging, he comes with the EC3 hands or the uh, the V1 hand or whatever the hell you want to call this hand. So that's pretty cool that you get all those interchangeable hands. But that pretty much does it for EC3's accessories, guys. You get shirt, mic, three sets of hands, and that's it. So with that being said, let's get into EC3 himself. So getting into Ryan from Wadfix himself, guys, we do have this beautiful head sculpt that looks just like Ryan. I think they did a really good job of capturing the likeness. With all the jokes aside, I think it does look just like EC3. I mean, my God, they nailed it. I love the sculpt of the hair. I think they did a fantastic job getting that curly hair that he has. You know, it's it's sort of curly. It's got some straightness to it, but it's very wavy. And they did just a great job of capturing it. I think the skin tone's great. You know, he's a tan dude. I think they captured that perfectly with the figure here. I love the torso choice. He is a gigantic mountain of a man. And he, his arms are massive. I mean, they this, this 
this is pretty, I, I honestly think, guys, this is a perfect figure from head to toe. I think that the part selection they chose was great. The Triple H stuff, the arms, the, the hands, the legs they used. I'm pretty sure they used just a straight up Triple H body mold, but uh, I think it works. I love the wrist gauntlets. This is one of my favorite attires he's worn with the, you know, the silver, the yellow, and the black. Uh, great looking graphics. I love this EC3 graphic on the back. You got the little designs going on. You got his big knee pads. Tape behind the legs, which is great. The only thing I don't like about the figure is mine actually has some paint chipping problems right here. There's like some gray there, which I which I freaking hate. Makes me just want to set my head on fire. But you got the three logos on the knee pads. I hate that I don't have really a figure I could switch these out with. I thought about doing Mustafa Ali, but I don't know how that would look. I, I, I may play around with it. I just don't like the large knee pads. They, they suck and hinder articulation. But going down, you do have black solid boots. You could possibly switch these out for white. We'll have to see what comes of that. I don't know. We'll have to see. That, but that pretty much is it for EC3, man. I mean, I think they nailed it. I think it's pretty much a perfect figure from head to toe. And I don't think we have any figures to compare it to. Is there any other figures that I don't have an EC3 custom? I don't have anything like that. So I don't think we're going to get into any EC3 Elite figure comparisons. We're just going to dive straight into Johnny Football's accessories. So with that being said, guys, let's dive a closer look into Johnny Gargano's accessories. So getting into Johnny Gargano's accessories, guys, he, like EC3, does come with three pairs of interchangeable hands. He comes with mic holding hands out of the packaging. He also comes with two sets of other hands, which includes two pairs of fists, and then we, two pairs of fists, two fisted hands, not two pairs, you stupid idiot. And then we have the Kawhi Leonard ricochet hands, or the hand shaking hands, or the look over your head like Christian hands, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, I really don't know what to call these, but that's what I got there. Uh, those, are those, those are those. And then we have the extinguisher here, the fire extinguisher, which we've seen in the past, which this is supposed to be from his fights with Tommaso Ciampa. I think this is from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, where he, uh, you know, he was just obsessed with trying to take down Ciampa, and so they had their matchup, and here is the fire extinguisher. And then we have his entrance vest, which looks really nice. I think this is a new mold, if I'm not mistaken. He, this looks just like the way it did at the TakeOver event. You got the nice face on there. You have the blue and the red color. The black really is a nice contrast with the white, and we do have the color sculpted on there and with all of the paint going down on the back of it looks great all of this is great i love the sculpting feel of it it fits the, it fits the figure well and it's just overall a very nice thing so i'm excited for it i think it's great i think they did a good job on these accessories and now that we have covered johnny gargano's accessories guys let's take a closer look at johnny football himself so taking a closer look at Johnny Gargano, guys, we do have this beautiful head sculpt. I really think it looks like Johnny Gargano a lot. I love what they got going on here. I do have a little paint chip there at the front of the hair. What the hell is that? That pisses me off. I don't like that. That is upsetting because, you know, uh, it's not solid black. So I don't think I could just come in there with a solid black color and touch it up. It's not one of those things. So I may have to mix some paint together to get that little color there to fit that in and fill in these gaps because there are some gaps going on. You can see on his beard there, there's another gap in his hair. So that kind of pisses me right off, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I can do and try to fix it the best way I can. But going down, they used the ripped up torso, which is beautiful. I'm so glad they used the Finn Balor torso or the Cody Rhodes torso, whatever you want to call it here. And uh, it, it matches perfectly. You know, he is ripped up. He does have a nice chiseled stomach, so I think that's great. I think they did a fantastic job on that. First, Johnny Gargano to actually give us this. I know in the proto picks of the Hall of Champions Target exclusive Johnny Gargano, it had this torso. They ended up ditching it for whatever reason. Reason, but they have it here now and it's great. I like the arm choice they chose. Chose. I love the uh, black and red, the, the black and white they got going on. The tights are incredible. I love this colorway. The blue, the red, the black looks great. The only thing that sucks is they didn't put his Johnny Gargano logo here. Where's the emoji, man? They didn't even put the emoji here, which I'll have to paint on there, which I hate. Like, why do I have to paint on something that should already be there? I don't understand. They put it here, so it doesn't even make sense. All you had to do is take this, make it smaller, and put it here. Here. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to add that in either surgery or something. I'll have to figure it out, but we'll get that taken care of. Going down to the legs, I think it works. He's a very small man. You know, it says he's 5'10". I don't buy it. I think he's 5'8 or 5'9 at the most. And so uh, there is that on the back. I love this graphic, the Johnny Wrestling graphic with all the stuff going on. I think somebody said this is supposed to be Carnage inspired, which I don't know if it's supposed to be Carnage inspired or not. But whatever the case, it's a great attire. It doesn't matter if it's, it's supposed to be Carnage inspired. 
inspired or whatever the Herald inspired it is. It's a beautiful looking attire. The main event gear people that made this are, are fantastic. In the knee pads, great looking. Got the emoji here, Johnny Wrestling on this knee pad. And here is the biggest gripe of them all, ladies and gentlemen. They did, they did the same thing they did with his other figure and they didn't even give him kick pads. They gave him those Kevin Owens kick pads. They did the same thing with the Seth Rollins NXT Target exclusive. And these are the Kevin Owens kick pads that they give all the Kevin Owens figures, I'm pretty sure. But uh, they give him a regular leg mold for boots and then they give him these short kick pads which make no sense whatsoever. I just don't get why they do this. They paint the lower legs in the same color and the same look as the kick pads to make it try to blend in and uh, it just doesn't work, man. It's just, I don't know why they do this. I think that it just doesn't make sense. I just don't see why you couldn't just replace the lower legs and then give us the Finn Balor kick pads or the CM Punk kick pad or whatever the hell you want. Even the AJ Styles kick pads. I just don't get why they can't do that. It makes no sense. I, I just don't buy it, but maybe I think they have noted uh, the you know the the people complaining in the community. I think they're going to try and switch it for any future Johnny Gargano figures. We'll have to see about that. But I love the shoes. I love that he wore blue shoes on this night. They actually captured that in the figure. Didn't just give us black. And we're gonna we're gonna fix this guy up on WWE action figure surgery. I mean that's a fact. We're gonna get him fixed up and he's gonna look great and it's gonna be good stuff. So that being said and covering the whole entire Johnny Gargano Elite 70. So with that being said, guys, let's get into some Elite Johnny Gargano Elite figure comparisons. So taking a closer look at some Johnny. Gargano Elite Figure Comparisons. Guys, you have the brand new Elite 70 in the middle. On the right, you have the Hall of Champions Target Exclusive Johnny Gargano and you can just see, I mean, my god, this looks so much better, guys. The torso choice, the head choice, that true effects just makes it look so much better. Uh, you can see they did that same kick pad thing. I hate that. It's freaking awful. And then we have him up next to his arch nemesis, Tommaso Ciampa, his former best friend, is whatever you want to call it. Squaring off here in the figure review and they're both looking good and I love this, man. I can't wait for Ciampa to get back and I cannot wait for their feud to continue, I'm sure, because we never got, you know, our culmination. We never got our final battle. But I believe that about does it for our Johnny Gargano Elite figure comparisons. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 70 2-in-1 figure review on the brand new EC3 and Johnny Gargano. Guys, again, if you would like to pick up either of these guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, punch in the code. It's going to ask you a coupon code. You type in MD Toys. You'll save 10%. You'll get some epic figures for cheap price and it'll just be a good day at the office man you get to buy some figures you know I'm, I'm still waiting on that Dolph Ziggler guys I really want that pink Dolph Ziggler and I don't think it's over there on their website and I really need it so if you guys have the Chase variant Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler we can make a deal right now today PayPal ready let's make a deal and uh, get that figure over here on the channel but if you'd like to pick up these figures any other Elite 70 go over there shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible and all of the other things overall I really do like both of these figures man. I mean, they're freaking perfect. I think EC3 from head to toe is absolutely perfect. Johnny Gargano is very nice. It's definitely the best Jar Johnny Gargano to date. Even though it has the slight mess-ups, there's no emoji on the tights, which is dumb. And then the, you know, the lower kick pad problem, the lower leg problem is a big deal. However, you know, uh, we can switch it and fix it. It's just, you know, it's, it's not a deal breaker, but it does suck. But uh, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix that on WWE Action Figure Surgery, and it's going to be it's going to be very nice. But still worth the pickup. It's still much better than every other Johnny Gargano we've gotten, and it has the ripped up torso, the nice face. It's just good stuff. But I believe that is going to do it for this two in one Elite Figure review on this Elite 70 series, guys. Tomorrow we will be taking care of Vince McMahon and Seth Rollins, so definitely stay tuned for that, as well as surgery coming up very soon and Vindication episode 14 or 15 or whatever. I think it's 15. I can't remember what episode we're on. I think. It's, I, I don't freaking know. 15? 14. Episode 14 of Vindication is coming very soon. I apologize for the wait. Again, I'll let you guys know about all that at a later date, which will be coming soon. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys missed Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler's Elite 70 review from yesterday. Definitely go check that out. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.